Thanks so much for joining us here at 630 tonight. Our top story is recruiting workers to move here to Minnesota because we've all seen the ads from other states trying to lure workers and businesses from here. The question is, should Minnesota join them with a multi-million dollar ad campaign of our own? Here's our political reporter, Theo Keith, explaining one strategy to help solve the worker shortage. Minnesota now has 28 job openings for every 10 unemployed workers. Solving that, business owners and workforce officials alike have told me, is a lot more complicated than saying people just don't want to work or companies just need to pay more. Economic Development Commissioner Steve Grove, whose last job was at Google, says Minnesota isn't doing enough to attract out-of-staters. Of course, at Google, we had billion-dollar marketing budgets, and I, I had low expectations coming into government that we'd have a lot of money for marketing. But when I found out that our marketing budget at Deed was zero, uh, my jaw hit the floor. The state has a website, but no money to promote it. Grove is asking lawmakers for four and a half million dollars. There are bordering states who spend millions of dollars on marketing trying to pull our talent into their state. And looking at some of the latest demographic numbers on out migration, this is an area where Minnesota has to be more assertive at a time where we have the tightest labor market we have ever had. The idea has support in the DFL House, while the man in charge of the workforce budget in the Republican Senate says there's more than an ad campaign to attracting workers. Republicans have made income tax cuts their top priority. We want to be a place that attracts families. I mean, this is a great place to live. It's a great place to raise a family, and, and more people need to know about that. But we also have to make it attractive enough for them to want to move here. Minnesota's labor force is about 100,000 workers short of where it was pre-pandemic. State officials say two-thirds of them were approaching retirement age and took early retirement. The other one-third are younger, and state officials say most of them plan to come back. To get those people ready for the jobs of tomorrow, economic development officials are calling for $50 million for a tech jobs pipeline for teens, reskilling adults into growing industries, and updating Minnesota's online job portal. Lawmakers will decide in the coming weeks what to fund. From the Capitol, Theo Keith, Fox 9.